Hey guys and gals, Vlad here with the AVT Astro and today as always I've got an interesting Astro topic for you guys. Now the, cha the scenery is a little bit of different for this video as you could probably see. I'm actually doing a little bit of observing Cottonwood Canyon out in Central Oregon. I do talk about observing in Central Oregon a lot, so I figure I might as well make a video out here. So for those of you that might not be familiar, I run a little astro blog called avt-astro.com and of course this YouTube channel, so if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Um, over the years, I've had the privilege of owning over 100 scopes, more accessories than I could count. And this is some more accessories uh, that I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about. So anyhow, um, I came across this uh, Celestron um, accessory set that they actually make. Um, I think they market this specifically for SCTs and that's actually kind of for a good reason. Uh, so what this guy comes with is uh, basically three eyepieces that are called the Elux eyepieces. There's a 40 millimeter, a 32 millimeter, and a 26 millimeter which we'll kind of get into. It's kind of a, you know, a curious, um, you know, arrangement of um, eyepieces that they chose for that. It does come with a pretty nice 2X bar load that it is a two inch as well. All of the eyepieces are a two inch. Um, and it does come with a uh, diagonal that's a two inch. This is not a dielectric diagonal. So this is, you know, standard mirror coatings. They don't really specify what the refl reflectivity is on this, but I'm guessing it's probably like in the 90 to 94% range. The dielectric ones are usually 99%. So it's not quite as good as, you know, as possible, but it is still a pretty good one. Now, what I do like about this though, is that they give you the, um, then to where you can screw it on directly on the back of an SCT. Uh, but they also give you a nose piece to use it in a you know standard two inch focuser. So that is really nice and we'll kind of you know get why that's important or get to why that's important in a little bit. All right, so the other thing that's included besides the eyepieces, the barlow and the diagonal is some filters. Uh, so they include basically, I think it's a red, orange, blue, um, green and yellow filters in here, here as well and these are all two inch filters also. Now you know this isn't my first time you know kind of experiencing you know using an entry level um, set that's kind of made to you know kind of get you going uh, you know when you first buy your telescope in this particular case you know it'd probably be an SCT that you know you're looking at. Uh, this one I found curious though because this is all two inch stuff it's not inch and a quarter which is a lot more typical. Um, now the cool, you know, the, the two inch stuff, it is cool. Um, it does look kind of, kind of bigger and kind of more professional or whatever. Um, what I kind of really don't really, I guess, like understand, um, is why they even did two inch on this. <laughs> so, uh, what do I mean by that? Um, so these eyepieces, they have a, um, a field of view that's uh, only 56 degrees with the 32 millimeter and the 26 millimeter. Uh, the 40 millimeter actually has a 50 degree of field of view. So that's basically the same field of view that you usually you get out of plossal eyepieces. Um, so you actually, you know, with all of these eyepieces, really, they don't really even need to be a two inch to, you know, kind of get this type of a field of view you know essentially um so i wish that these were a little bit wider i wish that they were i mean heck even 60 degree would be you know pretty nice but really probably more around 70 degrees what i'd be looking for um especially at the price range that the set is so this set um i believe at the making of the video retails for 380 bucks on amazon um and that's not a bad deal you know considering that you do get the two inch diagonal with it as well and the barlow but I do wish that the eyepieces were a little bit wider though. All right, so, you know, I kind of started off with talking about the negative about the set. <laughs> so I did just kind of wanted to get that out of the way. I, I guess the other thing that I forgot to mention is that the set does include this. this so this is the case that it actually comes with, you know, and it's nice cut out uh, foam in there. So that's pretty nice too. Um, so with, you know, the big negative out of the way, which is the, you know, relatively narrow field of view of these eyepieces, you know, how is it to actually use them? Well, I mean, this set, uh, you know, obviously it's made to be used with an SCT. Uh, they, 
they claim actually that these are a three element design eyepiece. So um, that's actually, you know, pretty few. Most eyepieces use like four or five, you know, and elements are based with the lenses that they use. Um, so yeah, but in a, tele, in a SCT that's pretty slow, most SCTs are enough ton. These actually work pretty well. Uh, there is some coma and coma is basically where stars kind of look, you know, start to look like comets in the outer, you know, edges of the field of view. Uh, it's not really not bad. I mean, it's something I really kind of have to look for. So it's not like, you know, super obvious. Doesn't, you know, distract me from, you know, like observing whatever targets that, you know, that I might be looking at. So I didn't find that to be too bothersome. I will say though, um, when you do pair this, uh, these eyepieces with the Barlow lens, you actually pretty much eliminate all the coma. So it's almost like these are designed to be used with the Barlow which is actually kind of a good thing because um, the magnification that you get with these I'm posting in right now with the you know eight inch SCT because that's pretty typical. I was actually using it with the ten inch uh, SCT, you know, you know, kind of while I'm camping out here. Uh, but anyway, um, they're pretty low magnifications as you could see. I mean, even with the twenty six millimeter with this guy, you're only getting I think about like seventy six x or so with an eight inch uh, SCT, so that's pretty low. But if you double that with the Barlow, you know, you're up to that, you know, like kind of. Um, basically 150x you know type of uh, magnification range which is actually pretty good for deep sky stuff which you know i, I imagine this is kind of what the set is more you know kind of tailored towards um and even that uh, even uh, for the planets on the moon 150x is probably about the most you're going to get away with most nights of observing so that's not bad i would say one other really nice positive about these eyepieces uh, is that they do have an eye cup and if you guys have watched my channel you guys know that I don't really like eye cups you know really much on eyepiece most of the time I fold them down or remove them or whatever. These are you know they're kind of a flimsy eye cup. <laughs> You know, it, feel, it looks and feels, you know, pretty cheap, basically, is the best way that I describe it. But really, it's actually very functional. And uh, with, that actually, with, that, with it actually being really flexible, even if you kind of, you know, have to put your face on there a little bit, it does flex out without, you know, causing any vibration. So I do like that. But the eye relief, I didn't really look it up. I forget what it is. Uh, I'd say it's at least 20 millimeters on these. So very, very good eye relief. So it's actually really comfortable to use. So overall, you know, with these eyepieces, uh, besides, you know, the relatively narrow field of view, I really didn't have too much, um, you know, kind of like complaints with using them. Contrast is good on them. Um, and uh, the sharpness is pretty good on them. Again, especially in the center of the field of view. I actually did compare these uh, when I was observing at home to a 24 millimeter panoptic. You know, I was comparing the 26 millimeter to the panoptic. And, you know, I really didn't see too terribly much of a difference. I mean, the panoptic probably did have a little a hair better contrast, but it wasn't a huge difference, honestly. All right, so kind of moving on to the diagonal, uh, what did I think about this then? Um, you know, really, quite frankly, guys, I have like, you know, five different diagonals and I have some pretty high, I mean, pretty much, you know, as good of diagonals as you could get. So I have, you know, the um, astrophysics diagonal, I've had stellar view diagonals, I've had teleview diagonals, I currently have a three inch explorer scientific diagonal that I use. You know, quite frankly, most of the time, you know, I just grab like whatever's handy and I use it. I don't see too terrible. Oh, and I also have a batter, um, uh, the prism diagonal that they make. Uh, quite frankly, you know, with most diagonals, I don't see too terribly much of a difference. I mean, you really have to, you know, sit there and nitpick. Uh, like I said, though, the mirror on this, it's not dielectric, so it's probably not going to give you, a, you know, quite as bright of an image as a better diagonal would. Um, you know, having said that, though, I didn't see anything wrong with the, you know, the image that this thing produces. Uh, filters wise, you know, these, you know, honestly, I'm not too big of a color filter guy. I mean, you know, these are just your typical two inch filter. Nothing wrong with them. I mean, some people do like to use them on the planets. Uh, so, yeah. And then the case, you know, these are just kind of your standard, uh, you know, they're called an aluminum case. You know, most of us really not made out of aluminum. But yeah, you know, pretty good quality case. And by the way, just in case you're wondering where this thing is, a bird flew in literally into my garage and pooped on the case. So, you know, I'm just throwing it out there just in, just in case you're wondering where that came from. I figured I'd, I'd just leave it there for now. <laughs> so anyhow, um, hopefully you guys found this video interesting. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that about this, or just, you know, like any other astronomy stuff, Feel free to leave me a comment in the thin below. If you guys uh, are not subscribed, again, please do consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.